Retail AI just wrapped a full week of launching five new agent features, and the upgrade is massive. On day one, they deployed Knowledge Base 2.0, which delivered a 50% jump in the answer accuracy without any setup required. Day two brought real time variable extraction, so agents can now pull names, budgets, or any other sort of variables mid conversation and can pass that data to your webhooks crms or integrations no more lost data or ai asking for the same information twice day three solved the transfer nightmare with human detection so agents only transfer to actual humans not voicemail plus they've added whisper messages and hold music on day four they announced a major upgrade to their analytics dashboard now you can track what actually matters booking rates lead scores, conversion metrics, all in real time. And on day five, they announced their partnership with Cartesia for voice delivery that matches quality of 11 labs at a fraction of the cost, plus automatic fallback protection. We're breaking down each update today to show you how these changes impact businesses, why companies using voice AI are about to leave their competitors in the dust. So with Knowledge Base 2.0 coming out, this is a pretty massive one. If you look right here, this is the data that retail has provided where you see that now we have a 50% knowledge base retrieval accuracy improvement. And if you compare this to knowledge base one, and if you looked at what it actually went and retrieved, it wasn't always the most accurate information, even based on keywords. And so why this is huge is because one, you don't have to make any changes to your existing systems. They're now just smarter. And when agents give the wrong information, not only is this bad for the end customer when they're having this conversation, but it also erodes trust with your customer. And in the overall belief of AI being able to do the same level of task as a human, if not better. With this, it just leads to better precision, meaning more accurate information being provided to the end customer and more trust being built with your clients. So the second day drop is pretty massive. This is when they announced that you can extract variables in real time. And if you've built any agents on retail, you would know that this was a problem prior and you had to get really specific in your prompting and tell the LLM to remember that, to remember the information that it had already stored. For instance, if my opening message is, hi, thanks for calling our company. Who am I speaking with today? And then in our global state prompt right after we say, ask for the user's name, even though the user responded with their first name, it'll still follow that prompt and ask again for their first name. Now with the extract variable node that you can see right here, we have the ability to extract any variable that we want. And the AI is going to remember this for the full duration of the conversation. So you can kind of create checkpoints with data extraction throughout your conversation. You know, like let's say you're doing a real estate offer and you need to know what your budget is right after you can extract that variable and then run it over to a logic split node where if the budget is greater than a certain amount, we'll make them qualified. And if it's less, they're no longer qualified. This is just a really simple example, but the same rule could apply for, let's say, extracting names, phone numbers, emails, and you can get really specific into the specific format, right? There's text, number, Boolean, or enum a description as well as the variable name. So this is an absolutely massive change and a game changer in my opinion. Now, the next major update is with regards to call transfer. So let's say you wanna do a live transfer to another person. After we've qualified them, we know that they're ready to move forward in the sales process. What we can use is a warm transfer. And what this allows us to do, well, for start, is now we have on hold music that didn't exist prior. So we can choose the type of on hold music while that call is being connected instead of it just being blank. There's also this human detection timeout where call will only be transferred if there is a human on the other line capable of answering that call. And there's the ability to provide a whisper message. So this will only be provided to the person on the receiving end. You could turn this on and make it a prompt, include custom variables, or make it a static sentence. Or you can turn on a three-way message where both parties can hear whatever that call is connected. So this is absolutely massive, in my opinion, especially with regards to receptionist type roles, where we can really simulate if someone is available or not to take that call. Otherwise, it'll go back to the agent and the agent can continue the conversation, capture their information and provide that to the business if someone is not available. So on day four, they released Analytics 2.0 which is actually something that I've been pushing for for a long time. Right now, if we look at the call counts, if we look at the amount of calls that are successful and the disconnection reason, I mean, this is just a snapshot of the raw data. But really, when you want to create useful business 
analysis and business decisions. It's based on other factors such as what's our current booking rate? What's our close rate? How many people are showing up? And so you can do all of this now, or at least a lot more by just hitting this add button. You can see that now we have the ability to choose specific agents and we can add all of these custom post call analysis fields. So let's say in this case is for a real estate agent, we're building out a voice agent right now. And one of the things he wanted was different area preference, budget range. What you can do is create enum values or buckets of values. So let's say in the case of budget range, we'll have zero to 500K, 500K to a million and a million plus. We can click on that budget range. You can choose if you want it to be by hour, month, week, day, whatever format you want. Choose if you want it to be small, medium, or large. And now you can save that and very easily have it added to your existing analytics with the ability to drill through on this data and see the underlying data and see how many people are in your higher tier or lower tier. And this is just one one a simple example out of the many post call fields that are available. Because really, now that you can create custom metrics using the post call analysis fields, you can create pretty much anything that you want. Now, one of the things that's really great here too, is if you look at, if you come into here into your voices, you can see we have 11 labs, we have open AI, and now they've just added Cartesia. And why this is really cool is because use this specific voice, Adrian, you can see that we're looking at anywhere from 970 milliseconds all the way up to 1300 in terms of latency. And if we use the exact same voice, but through Cartesia, it drops by 150 milliseconds for only one cent more. Now, 150 milliseconds might not seem like a lot, but when you're dealing with voice AI, there's a lot of nuances that go into conversation. And by having really fast latency, it creates a more seamless and human experience. Another reason why this is good is because sometimes 11 labs goes down unexpectedly in the middle of a conversation. And so if you click here on security and fallback, you have the ability to add a fallback ID, where if I'm using 11 labs as my primary provider, I can come into the fallback voice ID, choose Cartesia, literally choose the exact same voice. So there's no difference in the overall experience, but provides you with a backup in the event that there are some issues with one of the voice providers. So absolutely massive week for retail, and I'm sure that they're going to be pumping out even more features. So be on the lookout. And with that being said, hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Peace.